Our part needs a sign, so let's build it. Okay, let's click in the front view, let's go to the rectangle tool, and let's draw out a nice little base for it. I don't know, something about nine feet. Let's click to the three-quarter view, let's grab push-pull, and let's give it some depth. All right, that, that looks about good. All right, let's uh, split this down the middle, grab the pencil tool, click from midpoint to midpoint. Oh, you know what, let's just split that even more. So we'll go from this new midpoint to midpoint, and we'll go from the other midpoint to midpoint. I don't think we need that middle line, so let's just get rid of it. Let's grab the eraser tool and ditch it. Let's grab push or pull, let's grab the middle section, and I'll just raise it up a, a good amount. Just kind of eyeball it. I'm going to take the pencil tool, we're just going to split this back piece. We're going to switch over to the other view and do the same thing on the other side. So just grab the pencil and just chop that up. Let's grab the push or pull tool, let's grab that side and pull it out, but the same amount is front and back. And let's do the same for the other side. Push or pull and eyeball it roughly about the same amount. Let's grab the eraser tool and let's just get rid of those lines that we created there. And let's do the same for the other side. Now let's split the top piece. So let's grab the midpoint to midpoint and then do the midpoint to the other side so that we know that it's going to be straight in the middle there. So midpoint to midpoint. Perfect. Let's use the eraser tool and let's just ditch that middle line. I'm eyeballing it for a bit here, but you can use a measuring tape. You can actually go over a certain distance. So let's say we go over six inches. We can grab the measuring tape, click in that midpoint again, go over and type in six inches. Then we know that we have these lines that are exactly six from the side. And then we can just use the line tool to create a little subdivision there where the tape is. There you go. Sometimes it's a little tough to get. This one here will be easier from one end to the other. So now we'll just use push pull and take that up and eyeball it. Certain height. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, it's getting a little boxy. Let's maybe grab the arc tool and let's curve one of these edges. Perfect. Just like we're using in our ramp, we're just using the same tools. Close, we'll use push and pull and we'll ditch that piece all together. Yeah, that's a little more visually pleasing. Maybe grab the opposite end. Let's grab that line and let's use the move tool and let's maybe move it up a bit just to see. Yeah, keep it on the blue. Make sure that, there you go, that's not bad. Yeah, let's curve this side too. Might as well. There we go. Same thing. I think I just like using that tool. All right, let's click that. Push pull all the way back. Yeah, kind of looks maybe slightly like a tombstone. Let's go into our shapes. Let's call it 3D text. And let's type in a good name for a park. Arc 10 Park. The default's two feet in height, so let's see what that gives us. Yep, it's a tad big. Well, let's just go back and let's change this to one foot six. That's once again called the famous park, the Ark Temp Park. Only kids that want a cool park go to the Ark. All right, Ark 10. Then let's we'll go back and let's uh, add Red Deer Skate Park at the bottom there. Let's change that to height of six inches and type out Red Deer Skate Park. Let's hit OK and let's bring it over and put it underneath there. All right. All right, let's go into our tools here and let's do a good zooming stand so it fills up our screen. Now let's go into our materials section and find out what we want. We probably want something. Uh, let's go with some stone. Maybe we'll start with a, a brown base down at the bottom. Maybe we'll add some gray to the next level. Maybe we'll grab a dark color and put the back piece a little darker. Yeah, maybe even a little darker. So now I'll just go around and finish painting it. Now I'm just going to go into the top view, I'm just going to drag out a big piece of grass, a big rectangle, and then go into my materials and end up finding grass in there. And once I find grass, I find you know, something that I'm happy with as far as pattern goes, and then I just apply it there. My sign is done, so that is all.